Why, hello to you and welcome to a different type of video for Phasmophobia. Today I want to try and improve or at least get better at the hunt objective. Historically I tend to avoid it and the way I make a lot of my money is from photos. If I see the hunt objective I normally run. I don't attempt it because my attempts in the past have either failed or when I've been caught off guard by the ghost I unfortunately usually die or I've been very lucky in that my microphone stops working and that they haven't bothered chasing me like the time with me and the banshee. I want to get better at the hunt objective considering later on down the line when the game gets updated and the money gets better I would like to actually be able to do that. The only way I will be able to do that is if I practice and what do they say practice makes perfect so no better way to practice is trying in various houses. The houses I picked for the first one is Ridgeview, the second one of course good old Tanglewood and the third one, the one that I fear the most and the one that I have died the most is Edgefield. Now I start with setting up the house, getting it ready, putting in my smudge sticks, having a plate thrown at me as you do. Everything seems to be going fairly well. I'm setting everything up. Fortunately, I couldn't find a Ouija board to speed up the process. So unfortunately, as there's no Ouija board, the best way is to stay in the dark. I have a UV light, my lighter and my smudge stick at the ready. This happens. Nope. Shit. Not what I wanted to happen at all. So yes, deciding to walk in the dark in a hunt was not the best of ideas and unfortunately it ended in me dying. So that was not the best stop. One nil to the ghost. So the next stop is of course good old Tanglewood. So in Tanglewood, like Ridgeview, I set it up to me my smudge stick. Lucky enough, there's a Ouija board. I start this process a lot quicker. So the hunt starts. I'm ready with my smudge stick. I also got this lovely little scare from it. Where are you? Come here. Come on. It's now 1-1 one, one between me and the ghost. Yo, John. 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 This does not count because obviously I get pushed out the house. However, then when I re-enter the house, it decides to hunt me.
Now this was a fun clip involving the spirit box and also this doesn't count. Where are you? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you friendly? Edgefield has been the home of some of my scariest moments. One in particular that will always stand out. Jennifer? Are you in here? Jennifer? Duh. <gasps> There's a banshee. Lucky for me, there is an Ouija board at hand so I can make this go a lot quicker and really test my skills. I have four chances with the smudge sticks and then I have three because I pressed the wrong button. I again used the Ouija board and repeatedly keep pressing my radio button which after a while gets on your nerves. I apologise for that. The ghost then decides to hunt me. Now this time I move away into a different closet. then make my way downstairs and I'm debating whether or not I should start the hunt now or set it up. I decided to set up the room in which would be the locker downstairs. I then have second thoughts and run out and then I accidentally trigger another hunt while looking for fingerprints from a safe distance. Again being pushed out so this doesn't count also. I decide that I'm going to stand at the top of the basement stairs, catch his attention, run off with the smudge stick and hope for the best.
and success. I managed to get away. Uh. My goal is to get better at the hunting objectives, to do them more. I'm still fearful that they're the one objective in this game I really struggle with. Who knows? Maybe I'll give it a go here and there, depending on the ghost. Obviously, if it's a rev, god no, I'm not stupid. I do hope you liked this silly and odd video that I did, and I hope you enjoy it. If you'd like any more videos like this in the future, or anything else, please let me know what you think. Again, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, farewell for now.